Hi, I'm Robert from yaymath.org, and I have a question for you. What does inspired math teaching look like? This is a question that I ask myself every day, and I have pretty much two answers. Level one is the inspired math teacher needs to impart the math in smooth and understandable and easy to understand ways. That part we know. But level two, the, the deeper one, is how to elevate, how to motivate, and how to inspire the students with every opportunity we have, how to get inside their minds, inside their emotions, and uplift them and motivate them to be their very best. So I've been saying this for years about the importance of connecting to the students on an emotional level. And rather than saying that, I'd like to show you what I do with my own materials to try to do that, to try to motivate the students and get them even smiling. So these are some materials that I have for my upcoming Algebra 1 course here. So check this out. So this is a, a, a page on percent, percentages. So this is the uh, word problem of this document. And we all know that word problems can be overwhelming for many students. So I wanted to use that as a chance to not only ease that overwhelm, but to just inspire the students and get them smiling and get them connected and happy. So I'm gonna read the question. Suppose that when your friend Chris sees his test score, he panics. He says, I really needed at least an 80% of this test, but I only got a 68 out of 80. What would your response be to Chris? Remember, you're his friend, so you must help him calculate his percentage, then either confirm or refute his initial reaction without judgment. So now this is a math test and now we're talking about his feelings imbued with the percentage problem so now i'm going to show you the answer key that i developed so this is basically by my own hand you could see multiple uses of color here uh different types of examples uh even for this problem with chris notice i do it in two different ways to provide the students uh, different vantage points and it's determined that uh chris got an 85 percent on the test uh, through the math work here. And then the message to Chris. So this is the part I wanted to show you. Chris, first of all, calm down. Seems like you panicked so much that you meant to say on this test and not of this test. You could see that. I needed an 80% of this test. So Chris was rambling. You're fine. You got an 85%. I would invite you to think about what you're afraid of and reflect on if that fear is helping you create your best life. Now, once again, this is a math test or a math document. And I'm talking about fear and Chris's feelings. And I'm offering a chance for students to connect with a very relatable situation about trying to get a good score on a test. And to me, this is what inspired teaching is, is using every single opportunity to get through to our kids, to get through to the students. And so I'm really happy I was able to share that with you. This is all in Yay Math's upcoming algebra online course. You could check it out on yaymath.org. And uh, thanks for being with us. Bye.